On today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Hasbro 2009 Spider-Man series figures. Today we're having a look at Black Costume Spider-Man. Spot was going through his collection of figures, trying to figure out what he wanted to review next, and he found himself a box. What was inside that box? Well, it was a whole bunch of Spider-Man figures that I never got around to reviewing. Now, even though I didn't get a chance to review, I don't think I reviewed this particular black costume Spider-Man. Um, the figures, of course, this figure, as well as the classic uh, costume Spider-Man. Uh, several of these figures were released through Hasbro's 2009 Spider-Man series. And uh, even though you might have not initially seen this figure of Black Costume Spider-Man, he was packaged with different accessories, so was the classic Costume Spider-Man was packaged with different accessories. So even though you didn't necessarily see this figure review, you might have already seen a figure review using the same figure. Makes sense? Yes? No? Cool? Yes? Awesome. He does come with a launching missile. As pictured at the top there, you can see Spider-Man. Ages 4 and up. Looks like he has some sort of samurai armor. I can tell you that's not going to stay on very long at all. On the back, oh, there we go. You can see how horrible it looks on Spider-Man. Other figures, though, before I get to a read-up, other figures down below, we have Spider-Man, several different Spider-Man. There's one with scuba armor. Fittingly enough, there's a lizard that was released in this set that I didn't get a chance to review initially, but uh, it works itself out perfectly that I'm going to be I'll review him uh, now. There's also a repack, a re-release Venom from the Spider-Man uh, Classics line, as well as Tarantula. I did review Tarantula already, though. You can go to www.hasbro.com slash Spider-Man for check out more toys and games. As for the read-up, it says the alien... Oh. Black Costume Spider-Man, the alien matter that makes up the Web Slinger's black costume, grants him the power to construct anything he needs, apparently including some stupid samurai armor. I shouldn't say stupid. Uh, from spiked battle armor, oh, look at that, to discourage a tough opponent to solid balls of webbing to knock out stubborn crooks. Spider-Man has everything he needs at his command. Brought to him from the good folks at the Symbiote Costumes, as well as the good folks at Hasbro. And he gets himself a very garish outfit like that. Removable battle armor. The best part of that description is the removable part. We'll discuss this further. What I am going to do, take a bit of a break. I'm going to get this opened up, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at Black Costume Spider-Man. Stay tuned. And because you know how I feel about uh, armor on Spider-Man figures, I've taken the liberty of already adding the armor to the Black Costume Spider-Man, so you can see, for starters, how silly he looks. He looks a little ridiculous. Now granted, even though I do think it's somewhat ridiculous, uh, now it's in person and it's actually on the figure. I don't love it. Don't kid yourself, Spot does not love this, but it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's kind of cybernetic. I'm sure, yeah, okay, a kid would love it. But it's not that bad. By no means is this a confession that Spot's going to have him displayed with this armor. He's not. He, <laughs> not even close. You take the helmet off. Pardon my hand, by the way. Oh, took his head off there too. There we go. There's the helmet. It's a, just a pliable rubber. Um, even without the head... The helmet, it, it's not bad. Again, it's not too, too bad. I've seen worse. I'm just going to say I've seen worse. He's got himself a firing missile. We'll get that out of the way first. It doesn't actually have a trigger. You basically just pull it back and fire it off. The costume, the armor has these spikes on the top. It kind of looks like a Red Lantern energy construct. I don't know how you could make use of that on, a, on another figure, like a DC figure, but kind of looks like that. Uh, the one side is the, the launching mechanism, we'll take that off. On the other side we've got ourselves like a spider gauntlet, I don't know, bracelet, something. We'll take that off too. 
And then you're basically stuck with a, uh, a shell clamps around the side. It's a very soft, soft rubber, as you can see. So we'll just take the shoulders off and take the waist off. And there you have the, the armor. Again, it's very soft rubber. At least it can be removed. That's the beauty of the, the Spider-Man figures. You can at least remove it. Unlike Batman figures that come with armor, usually those suckers are stuck with the armor on. Once you get it out, you have yourself actually a really nice Spider-Man. Now, even though, yes, it's not on the caliber of a Marvel legend, um, I would say this is still one of my favorite looking uh, Spider-Man figures, at least of the black costume Spider-Man. I like the very narrow uh, chest, very narrow shoulders of Spider-Man. Uh, he's also got a really nice head, really solid head sculpt. A narrow enough neck, but it's not too skinny that the head just looks like it's floating. I also like the fact that it's, he's got these large eyes too. We move further down. The size of the symbiote symbol is also really nice. A nice treat. He also has the white squares on the sides of his hands. This I don't care for, but we'll get into that in a second. There's the back print. Apparently they felt the need to really overly sculpt Spider-Man's buttocks. Look how tight that is. And then basically the rest of the body is just all black. Now getting to this hand, it always seems like whenever they make a black costume Spider-Man, they always feel the need to give one of the hands the spider shooting gesture. I wish they could have just given us two of these hands. Sadly, no. One other, the one other unfortunate part about the these 2009 Spider-Man figures, the fact they have no uh, swivel in the wrists. This doesn't work so bad. It's still workable because you can still rotate at the forearms. But this hand, uh, you can only do so much with this hand rotating at the elbows, and it still works. It's a shame that the wrist itself couldn't actually move on the figure. Uh, speaking of articulation, Spider-Man's head is on a ball joint, like so. He has a very nice rotation. I don't know, it does, yeah, it does look like it's a ball joint. He has pin and socket shoulders. You rotate those around. He has a pin uh, elbow as well. You can rotate those forearms all the way around and also bend at the elbow, like so. He has no waist swivel. He has a pin and socket leg. He has a bend at the knee. You can rotate the legs all the way around. And he also has a rotation and bend at the leg, or at the in the ankle. It's, a, it's such a shame, really, because as much as I love this figure, this part right here ruins the figure for me. Psst. Now, you can say... Now, you can say that there's probably other, there's much better Spider-Man figures out there than to go with something like this, but I still love the design. I still think it's a really nice narrow body. It's got a good sculpt on the figure. Yes, it doesn't have as much articulation as uh, some Marvel Legends, but uh, if you ask me, I mean, I, I think this is a very worthy figure to put out on display with your other uh, Marvel figures, certainly of your other Spider-Man figures. The black costume symbiote costume Spider-Man from the Hasbro 2009 series. I think I'm going to give him a 7. Really wish this could have been different. Wish we could have just gotten two of those hands. But still a figure that I really like. And uh, I'm glad I was able to somewhat re-review him. Even though, you know, these figures have been packed a couple of times with different accessories. I thank you guys for watching as you always do. Stay tuned. There are certainly more Spider-Man and other toy spots to come. And I will see you guys next time.